Hey guys, it's Jeremy from Production Den. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Contact into FL Studio. We'll start with Native Access. I'll show you how to download it there, find the folder that it's in, and then get that instrument installed inside of FL Studio. I'll also show you a tip on how to set up a shortcut folder for Contact in FL Studio so that you can load it quickly for all your projects. Let's jump in. First thing that we're going to do is go over to native access and we're going to need to see where we actually installed the VST plugin for contact six. So we're going to click on it and we're going to come over here to the installation path and you'll look to see where you did the VST 64 location. And in my um, particular instance, it's under the C drive program files, native instruments, VST plugin 64 bit. So that is the folder that I need to look for in FL Studio when I'm searching for plugins. So let's switch over to FL Studio. We're gonna come over here to plugin database. We're gonna right click on it and then we're going to go into manage plugins. And under this plugins search paths, we're gonna add a folder. So we're gonna go back, go to the PC, go to the C drive, Go to program files, native instruments, and go to that VST plugin 64 bit. And then you'll click OK to add that folder into your search directory. But I've already done that down here. So then I'll say start scan, and it'll look through your computer for new plugins. It'll take a little while to search through it, but it didn't for me because I've already done this. Um, so you go down to the bottom, and these will be showing up in yellow. Uh, when they're new, but you'll see that they all say native instruments and you'll see that it found Guitar Rig 5, Complete Control, Contact, Reactor, and Supercharger. So now that I have all those installed, I can exit out of this and I'll come down into Plugins Database. I'll go to Installed, Generators, and then VST, and then I will drag in Contact. So now It'll load up contact for the first time. It may take a little while because it's loading up the libraries. But once you've done that, you want to be able to easily access contact in the future. So I like to set up a folder underneath of um, my generators. I've already done it here, but I'll show you how to do it. And that way you can load up contact and the other native instrument plugins easily. So you'll come over to your file um, window, Windows Explorer, File Explorer, and you'll go into your PC, Documents, Image Line, FL Studio, Presets, Plugin Database, and Generators, and you'll see all these folders in here. And you create a Native Instruments folder underneath of this by you know, clicking on the icon to create a new folder. And so it will show up here, and if it's not in there initially, you can reread it and it should show up with that new folder that you created. And so what you do is you click on that new folder and then you come over here to your contact instance and you say add plugin to or add to plugin database flag as favorite. When you do that, it's going to say contact will be added to this subcategory of native instruments and you say okay. And what will happen is you'll see that it'll show up under here. And what that does for you is that when you click on this plus icon, you'll see that a new category has been created called Native Instruments. And underneath of there, you'll see the instruments that you've loaded in from Contact. So now all I have to do is click on Contact and I can load it in really easily. Well, now that you have Contact installed in FL Studio, I hope that you'll be able to use it on all your productions going forward. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel, but if you have any questions, or comments, just leave those in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next round.